<laughs> your child can't sit still, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. can't pay attention in class, and can't wait his or her turn for anything. At what point do you start thinking, this is something more than just being a kid, and wonder if it's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD? Well, it's a condition a lot of people say is overdiagnosed, but psychologists at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro are working to change that with a clinic that takes a unique approach to diagnosing ADHD. Cindy Farmer has our story. You're going to press this space bar for all the letters except for the letter X. Psychologists at the ADHD Specialty Clinic at UNCG take their job of diagnosing attention deficit hyperactivity disorder seriously. This is just measuring his attention span and his impulse controls. Mark Cottrell came here after his teachers and his mom noticed some problems at school. He was just having a hard time focusing. He was putting time into his work, but the outcome wasn't what we wanted to be. Mark had the three primary symptoms of ADHD, lack okay, of attention, so impulsive behavior, and hyperactivity. But it took a thorough assessment from psychologists to make sure. It's important to keep in mind that being inattentive, impulsive, and restless is not necessarily abnormal. Dr. Arthur Anastopoulos is the director of the ADHD specialty clinic. He says the disorder is often overdiagnosed because children aren't always assessed properly. If a child is incorrectly identified, it's because people have only looked at the symptoms and they haven't looked at the rest of the criteria and they haven't ruled out other conditions which can mimic ADHD. What I want to know is whether your son's had difficulty concentrating or, or keeping his mind on what he's doing most of the time. So here at UNCG, the battery of tests not only Some involve the child, but the parents as well. After the assessment, the everyone gets training on how to change their behavior to deal with the disorder. Mark and his mom started the training last month, and they've already seen big changes. I made Bluefoot best. It's like a war that you get when you have been top student in the class of being good. Matter of fact, one of his teachers told me that he just changed overnight. So it's working. In Greensboro, Cindy Farmer, Fox 8 News. Mark's treatment involves both medicine and behavioral changes, and Dr. Anastopoulos says there's no quick fix for ADHD, and treatment plans are different for every child. At UNCG, psychologists use a month-long study to determine the correct dose of medicine, that is, if they use medicine at all. It's also important to remember that children with ADHD often have other problems, like depression or anxiety, so it's important to get a professional assessment. You can call the ADHD specialty clinic at UNCG for a screening if you'd like. The number's on your screen, 334-5662-334-5662.